Hello everyone, welcome to the SmartPost Show Pro plugin video tutorial series. Today I'm going to show you how to create a post carousel with different post types. Make sure that SmartPost Show Pro plugin is installed and activated into your site. You can directly click on add new or you can click manage shows and then click add new to create a new show and give it a title. Below that you'll find the option to select a layout from 8 different layout presets. I'm going to create a carousel layout which is selected by default. Click show preview. And you can see this is how a carousel layout display. Customize your carousel using the configuration tabs. You can also create a carousel with media, post, pages, products and multiple post types. Let's select product and update the preview. You can see how beautifully a product carousel is showing in the live preview. Suppose you want to create a carousel with multiple post types. Then select post types as multiple post types and choose your desired post types. I am selecting post and products. Now update the preview and you can see both the post and products are showing in the same carousel. Let's get back to the post types. Only for the carousel layout you will find a configuration tab which is named carousel controls. Click on it. Here you will find the option to set carousel mode, carousel speed, autoplay, autoplay speed, pause on hover, infinite loop, carousel direction, row, navigation and pagination related properties to be configured. Let's see the carousel mode features. By default carousel mode is selected as standard. Update the preview and you can see this is how a standard mode carousel looks like. Now select center and update the preview again and this is how center carousel displays. And next one is sticker carousel, select it and update the preview. And you can see a continuously sliding carousel is showing. To make the carousel follow it, let's set the column value to 7 and update the preview. You can see this is how beautifully a ticker carousel looks like. Let's reduce the column value again and change the carousel mode to standard. Change the carousel speed and autoplay speed as you like. Use the row option to create a multi-row carousel. You can set the row value for responsive devices. Let's set the row value to 2 for larger devices and update the preview. You can see this is how a multi-row carousel looks like. Let's customize the carousel a bit to give it a better look. Okay, so the customization has done. Now update the preview and you can see how beautifully a multi row carousel is showing in the live preview now. Customize the carousel navigation and pagination as you like. For the navigation, you will find the option to select navigation position from several options. Choose navigation icon, icon size, navigation border radius and navigation color from here. If I change the navigation position to top left and update the preview, then you can see the navigation position is showing top left position. For the pagination, you will find the option to select pagination type, pagination color, dynamic pagination and slide to scroll. Before that, let's make the row value to 1. Now update the preview and this is the pagination dots type. If I change the pagination type to number and update the preview again, and you can see this is how the number pagination looks like. Check the box to show the pagination dynamically. Update the preview and this is how the dynamic pagination works. You can do this for the pagination dots as well. Let's give you an example of it. Select dots and update the preview and you can see the dynamic pagination is showing with the dots. Set how many items you want to scroll at a time. By default the value is set to 1. If I set it to 4 and update the preview, then when I click on the navigation, you will see 4 items are scrolling at a time. Now publish the shortcode and go to a page where you want to display it. Insert the shortcode using the SmartPost Shopper Gutenberg block. Select the shortcode and you will get a preview of it. Publish the page and view it. This is how you can create and customize a carousel and display it to your web pages. That's a wrap of this video.
In the next video, I will come up with another attractive feature of the plugin. Until then, take care.